Hey everybody, it's Jason with JR Custom Designs. Let's see how everybody's doing today. Um, kind of anxiously awaiting this uh, this item that came in today. Uh, looking forward to doing some stuff to it. Um, but I have to say I'm severely underwhelmed. Um, so, this is what we have. Um, the new boss rotary that I have on loan, or someone was generous generous enough to, to send me one to play with. Um, man, it's heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy, and it's awkward. I mean, let me see how, how wiggly it is, sitting on its feet. It's very, uh, very flimsy. Um, the other thing that got me was why on earth do you have this slit, this thing here that's really hard to turn and adjust? And then on the same axis, you have this to. It makes no sense at all. Um, you're basically double, double leveling one side. I mean, it, it, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I digress. The other thing is, is I saw this as plastic gears. Um,. Not necessarily in itself a bad thing, um, but looking down in here, I mean, these gears, let me see, these gears, they don't line up very well at all. They're just kind of sitting on the shaft, and they're way off. I don't know if anybody else has had this. Um, but this is just my first impression of it. I was really looking, I was really looking forward to getting this to, to see it, because I was kind of excited to see what what they knew what new they came out with um but uh i have to say that that uh uh yeah i'll leave it at that but anyways <laughs> what so conveniently um in their design they left holes all over this thing um and what i'm going to do with this one is um, i'm not going to use it you'll never see me plug it in and run it because uh I don't care to to know how it runs. Um, kind of concerned about how it runs, but uh, but I'll be making some mods to it to make it better, of course, uh, like I always do, and I done, did for the other rotary that they have. Um, so, and most of you can kind of guess what those those mods will be because I've done them I've done them already once before. Um, so you obviously something to clamp down the head. Something to keep the tail from moving around or sliding or walking. Um, hmm. There's not really any way to make this adjustable because they have it locked into the chuck right there. And uh, so, I mean, it's, it's in a fixed position, so you can't really do anything with that. Um, I mean, I'll give it to them. It is very modular. There's a lot of holes in here. But like I said, I mean, you just... You see how flimsy it is, just rocking back and forth on its legs. It's not, it's not the sturdiest, sturdiest uh, machine. And you see, just barely touching it. I mean, it's. But anyways, so. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to sh sh uh, show you guys this and let you guys know it's coming. Um, I'm looking forward to making some things for this that uh, that might help people in the future. Um, so if, if you're interested, stay, stay tuned. If you have this rotary, cool. If not, um, you know, I would, I would recommend looking elsewhere, whether it be mine or somebody else's. But uh, these, this has left me very underwhelmed, to say the least. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll have more updates on it when I get some, uh, some things made for it. Hopefully try to stiffen this up a little bit so it's not so flimsy when you're using it. And also give you a clamp and heel plate and, and some other things like that. Um, Alright, I hope everybody has a good day and we'll see you next time.